It's magic. Welcome back everyone to more from the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch and today we're going to take a look at Alakazam V, a card that I've not yet featured because I, to be honest, didn't think that I'd ever be able to make something with it, but this deck list is certainly a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to check it out, it is down in the description and whilst you're there, you can check out all of the extra stuff that's there, like the Twitter, the Discord, you could become a member, that would be greatly appreciated, but most importantly, like the video, let's jump across to PTCGO and, and check out the list. So this one comes yet again from Little Dark Fury. I've made a, an edit or two around the place, but the concept is the same. It's based around Alakazam V and its second attack, Mind Ruler. For two Psychic Energy, we do 30 damage times the number of cards in our opponent's hand, which can be a lot, it can be a, a small amount, but the good thing about Alakazam, right, is that it's psychic type, so it's going to take knockouts pretty easily on things like uh, Rapid Strike Yoshifu, Single Strike Yoshifu, and of course, Mewtwo and Mew, which is the free card on the ladder at the moment, so it's a pretty good attacker, it's a good typing to have, but how are we going to increase the amount of cards that our opponent has, because we want to make sure that we can get as many cards in their hand as possible to deal the biggest damage possible. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try and use our Creamy and Sharing Sweets, the ability which allows you to draw a card when you evolve your Pokemon, uh, and then each, well, each player draws a card, right? So you draw a card, your opponent draws a card, and that is good for two reasons. Firstly, it gives you extra resources to work with, but it means that your opponent is taking 30 more damage as well. We've got a 4-4 line of Milkery and Alcremi. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce that Pokemon's name, to be honest, but... You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, and so we're going to draw as many cards as we can with that. We've got Scoop Up Net as well to increase that. Uh, plus, we have cards like Surprise Box. And we also have a couple of cool supporters. Erica, which means that mo both, player, uh, both players may draw up to three cards. Uh, so you could force your opponent to draw at least one with Erica. And you can also use Blaine's Quiz Show um, to try and get them to guess the card that's in your hand and get them to draw cards. So it can be a lot of fun, this deck. Um, one of the most important things, though, is that it has copies of EXP Share, which we want to attach to our Alakazam to get our attack off as consistently as possible. But we also allow us to use other attackers like Necrozma V, which need a slightly higher energy cost. But, you know, with, a, with, a, with an EXP Share, we can get to the three energy. That's not too hard. Special Laser does 220, so it's just a flat number, which is very, very strong. We'll take this one out into the ladder, and hopefully we can get some fun games with it. Finally, we get to tick off Alakazam from the OG 150 Challenge. Alright, we've got a decent little start here. We've got Alakazam in the active, and we've got a Milkery, Milsery, Milky, Milky Ball on the, on the bench. Uh, which is good. Uh, plus, we have Erica in our hand, which is great. Um, we can draw some cards next turn. I'm not entirely sure what we're up against here. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Okay. So, we can take some knockouts as long as our opponent does not have access to Jirachi GX. If they don't have GX Jirachi, then we don't need to worry about them removing their weakness. So, we are going to... Oh, there's the Jirachi GX. Well, fair enough. They were, they were always going to go for it. I mean, if we can get a knockout on that, then that would be perfect. Um, okay, this is a decent little hand. Let's uh, let's attach an energy. We're going to also... Oh, this is tough. I think we quick ball. I'm going to get rid of the reset stamp, and we're going to grab another Alakazam, I think. That does seem like a smart play. Uh, we can play that down and attach our EXP share. Uh, then, I think we're just going to go with our Erica. Um, I mean, we could just Zen Spoon. Let's draw cards. We want to draw cards. We would like to draw up to three cards. We would like to draw three. Uh, so we'll give ourselves that. That's a decent looking hand. Um, and hopefully our opponent decides that they want to draw a few cards as well. If they draw three cards, fill their hand up a little bit more, then we've got ourselves a really good chance of dealing some solid damage next turn. It looks like they're just going to go with one, though. Uh, we will use Zen Spoon. Are we going to put three damage po uh, counters on our opponent's Pokemon in any way we like? I will put 10 onto the Jirachi and 20 onto the, uh, the, whatchamacallit? Um, what, what, what is it called? Rapid Strike Urshifu? Uh, just because then it makes both Pokemon have, uh, HP numbers that are equal to the, uh, equal to a number that is divisible by three. 
I, I guess that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. 150 is divisible by three, so if we can get a gust, we can manage that. Uh, and if they evolve into the V Max, then we can also take a knockout on that with a number that is divisible by three, which is which is perfect. That's ten, by the way. 300 is is divisible by three ten times. You can divide it ten times. So these are the these are the things that we do. Um, but I will say this much: we are in a rough spot. Uh, we've at least got we've got energy and and draw, so it's not too bad. Uh, I would like to knock out that Jirachi though. I want to make it as easy as possible to get V Max knockouts. And uh, if we knock out the Jirachi GX, then I'll be very happy. At the moment, though, it's not going to happen. Um, hopefully, we can just get a knockout on some of the stuff that they've got floating around. It looks like they've not got too much going on. Um, they've obviously attached that uh, Karate Belt to try and remove cards from their hand. You know what? With Erica, we're going to draw up to three cards. Our opponent's going to have to draw at least one, which means we're going to get the opportunity to take a knockout on this Jirachi. And it looks like they're just going to go for all three. We will attach the Horror Psychic. Uh, and then what else do we do? I think we probably Quick Ball. Do we Quick Ball? I feel like... No, let's, let's calm away the Alcremie because we can grab ourselves... Something else. I think, I think the Cricketoon seems pretty nice here. We can get that one down here. We can quick ball away the energy. We can draw, grow ourselves a Milkery. If we want, we can use Surprise Box as well. But I think we probably just hold on to it for later. The exciting stage for a couple of extra cards, and those two are perfect, to be honest. They are literally the two perfect cards that we wanted to get off of that. So... We cannot complain. We get an air balloon from the prizes, which means that we can put the cricket tune in the active to draw some extra cards. This is feeling pretty good. Uh, we've also got the surprise box to add extra cards to our opponent's hand next turn. They actually can't knock us out, which is interesting. Uh, they can do that though, which is very frustrating. They're just going to remove all their cards from their hand again, which is fair enough. It's what they are supposed to do. Um... It looks like, they're, are they going down to one card in hand? That's that's atrocious. How are we going to deal with this? Um, okay, so they only do 120 because we have resistance. Uh, we can we can Alcremie. Draw a card. Yes, we would like that to happen. Uh, and we can also... I think we just attach to the Alakazam and retreat, right? That seems fine. We'll play down another Alakazam... We will use Exciting Stage. We actually could have used the Surprise Box there, to be honest. Um, we will just uh, Zen Spoon, you know what? We'll just put a couple of extra damage counters onto the active, because again, it means that the effect of that strong stone energy will not uh, will not create too many problems for us. Although, in saying that, they will now G-Max Rapid Flow and take three prizes, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like that. I'm not a big fan at all. Oh, they're not going to take three prizes. That's fair. Okay, so they're going to just hit into the Alakazam on the bench. Interesting. Okay. So, we probably, probably want to get a knockout this turn if we can, to be honest. Uh, we're going to com away the Alakazam. And I think we probably just leave it at that. Like, we don't grab anything. So, we can get ourselves the space for the Crobat. It's unfortunate that we've not been able to find a scoop up net. Would have liked to have found that, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to give them the Jirachi back, I think. It's the least useful card that they have in their discard pile. We will Exciting Stage for three more cards. See if we can't get uh, a couple of useful ones. There's a Research. We'll throw that down. We don't need a Crobat now. And we've got an Energy, which is good. That's pretty much all we wanted. Um, we can play down another Milkery if we like. And uh, yeah, I think... I think this is okay. We'll retreat into our Alakazam V. We might leave the bench space open. No, no, we should we should go for it. Maybe we Crobat? I don't know. Mm, I think the Milkery is fine. Oh, we just discarded the Crobat. We can't do that. Okay, so we've got a Milkery. Uh, and then we'll just Mind Ruler, and we'll deal... Oh, the Power Plant's down! I put Power Plant down! Of course! I was like, deal a bit of damage. It's not just a bit. The Power Plant gets us the knockout. Well, there you go. Probably should be paying attention to my own cards. Well, that makes this game a lot easier now because the power plant's down, so they don't have the uh, ability from Jirachi GX, which means that we can get knockouts really, really easily. Oh well. Sometimes all I all I really need to do is pay attention. That's pretty much all I need to do is just pay attention to what's going on. They're gonna gale thrust here and draw two cards. If we find an energy, we're gonna win this game here. 
because we're currently dealing 36912. Surprise box is really good. All right, we could be on the way to a win. Um, let's get rid of the Mew, uh, and then we can grab the El Creamy. Uh, let's see, is there a way? I think I just have to draw cards here. Uh, we will, Cynthia and Caitlin will discard the Air Balloon. We don't really need that. Uh, we'll grab, I don't know, Professor's Research back. I think we need to win this turn if we're going to, to be honest. An Energy plus a couple of Surprise Boxes plus the Al Creamy means that we are definitely going to be able to get the Knockout here. Another Surprise Box! Oh, beautifully done. Okay, so three Surprise Boxes. They can just have three random cards back. We're just going to take a big old Knockout. Well, well, well. Alakazam, it's going to come up clutch. I'm glad that I played the power plant down. I literally played the power plant down being like, I just don't want them to have their stadium. Little did I realize that it was going to win me the game. Unbelievable. It's why we play these cards in these decks. Okay, let's quick ball here and get rid of... Oh my god, Cynthia Caitlin, I suppose. We'll grab the Alakazam and then attach an energy... We've got the Alcremi in hand, we've got a surprise box and an Erica. We actually have everything that we need uh, to attack next turn. And to be honest, if the Latios stays there, then we'll be in a good spot. But we need to get the Milkery out of the active. Um, so we, we should be fine if we find a scoop up net. I'll be relatively happy with that. Um, I don't know what we're playing against yet. There's a Raichu and Raichu, so we could be looking at like a weird peak. Oh, a Victini. Okay, I do not know what I'm playing against. I don't, I literally have no idea what I'm playing against here. Could it be like a, a Victini with Aurora Energy and Mew? I think Mewtwo seems to be the likely option here. They've attached an Aurora Energy. We have a really, really good chance here of taking a knockout if we find a switching card. We've found a Cricketune, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll attach the energy. We will surprise box a couple of times. We'll just put those, uh, put those GXs that they don't want in their hand back into their hand. Um, that means that their Mewtwo's won't be able to attack easily. Then we can Exciting Stage and draw a couple of cards. Uh, we find another Alakazam, which is good. But we need to find a Scoop Up Net off of this Erica if we can. Nope. Alrighty then. It looks like we're going to have to wait until next turn. Uh, our opponent is just having a think about how many cards they might like to draw. And unfortunately, we've given our opponent a chance to just come out and win this one if they... Attach, evolve, and gust out my Alakazam. There's almost nothing I can do. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, they've just drawn three cards there, so they've got a big ol' hand. Um, we're gonna have to just pass. It's as simple as that. Uh, and that's unfortunate, really. Not super happy with that, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, alright? It's just okay. A lightning energy onto the Victini. This is a very interesting deck that I'm seeing here. Maybe it's a Picarom with, like, a couple of colored attackers, maybe? Bolton, that brings a little bit more clarity to what's going on here. There's the Victini VMAX, so maybe it's like a Picarom deck that has Victini VMAX in it, which is not, like, a terrible idea, but it seems like there's a lot going on in this one. Let's put it that way. Um, if they evolve into the Victini VMAX, how many, uh, cards do they have in their hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus they'll draw an extra one. Are oh, they going to Marnie. Fair enough. Okay, so they'll have five cards in their hand. And we will have four. At least they'll be different than the four we currently had, which is, uh, good. There's a scoop up net, and probably most importantly, an EXP share. A very, very strong card to get there. Um, they're going to max victory, take the knockout, so they have six cards in hand. Uh, we're going to promote our Alakazam because we can't guarantee that we get the Cricutoon out of the active. And top decking a Research is really, really good. Let's play down the Power Plant. Uh, I'm going to put the EXP share on the Necrozma. No, we should put it on the... Mm, we'll put it on the Necrozma, uh, because then I might have a chance of attacking with it. Um, we really do need to find an energy, though. The fact that we missed energy there is really, really bad. So we might have to uh, go for a Crobat, I think because we really need to find energy. Let's uh, surprise box. We'll put, um, I don't know, a Pokecom. No, we'll put the Marnie. Uh, no, let's put the Cherish Ball back in, because they're just going to grab a GX that they don't want anyway. Um, we really need to find an energy this turn, either to attach to the Necrozma or to attach to the Alakazam. Um, so let's com. We'll get rid of the Alcremie. Hopefully the Chromat is there. It is. We can grab the Mew out, and then Quick Ball that Mew away. 
Um, we grab ourselves the crowbat, and I think we're gonna just play. Oh, we could, we could, we could exciting stage here. We could, we could even scoop up if we want to. But I think we just exciting stage for one. Uh, there's the attachment, which is beautiful. I'll put that on the necrozma, and then we will crowbat for five. Uh, because if we can find another V uh, an EXP share, that would be great. We can't. It's okay. We will use Mind Ruler. Two hundred and ten damage is not a lot. To, it's not just. It's not to be sneezed at. That's a solid piece of attacking. That would knock out lots of things back in the day. That knocks out a Zoroark GX, unless they resist Psychic, which they might. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're looking pretty solid here. Um, the attachment on the Necrozma may have been ambitious. Perhaps should have attached to the Alakazam. Because if I do that, then I guarantee I can at least attack next turn. If they play something spicy like a Tool Scrapper, that would be quite bad. Obviously, we will get to attack with the Necrozma next turn if they choose to knock out the Alakazam. But we probably want to guarantee that we have an attack next turn. And, and at the moment, we're not doing that. So it's probably better to have attached to the Alakazam. But, to, but it doesn't really matter. Much of a difference, I'm sure. Um, or at least it won't make that much of a difference if you're seeing this. If it makes a significant difference, then you probably didn't see it. Uh, because the game would have petered out and been terrible. So, there's that. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at how consistently this Alakazam deck is working. It is not good. It's not going to be a, like a, a top tier deck. But as a fun little rogue option, like a tier 3 kind of deck, it is, it's pretty solid. Um, and it deals a solid amount of damage, like to a lot of things. So, a very impressive deck that I've enjoyed quite thoroughly. They're grabbing out their Dene here, they're going to use Pokecom and put that Dene back into the deck. You'd think they'd go looking for another attacker at some point. They probably need one of those. We are yet to see a Mewtwo or a Picarom or anything like that come down. So they probably have to find something to back up after this Victini VMAX. But we will wait and see. We will wait and see. It's taking a long time here. E7KHC, you are taking a long time to make your decision. It is a Boltant. Okay, so maybe they attach energy to Boltant and... Attack with the VMAX. Possible eye, possible eye. There's, there's, like I said, still taking a long time. They've got a lot, uh, a lot of decisions to make over there, by the looks of things. Meanwhile, we're just sitting back going, hey, listen, if we can attack again next turn, that's swell. I'm happy with that. Very happy with the ability to attack again. It's as simple as that. They eventually bench the Boltand and they decide to Marnie. So, there goes my energy in hand, as well as my professor's research. Hopefully, we come up on both of them again, and we do. So, we've got an attack still, we've got draw cards, we've got everything that we need. We just need our opponent to actually declare their attack. There's the Tapu Koko, so it is like a lightning-based deck, rather than a uh, Mewtwo-based deck, but there are a lot of interesting cards floating around in this one, for sure. Uh, definitely was not expecting a Victini VMAX. Let's put it that way, uh, in a Picarom deck. But hey, there are stranger things on the ladder at the moment. This Alakazam deck, for example. Very strange. We get to move an energy to our Necrozma, which means that our Necrozma is now our attacker. Which is really good, actually, because it means we're going to be able to knock out the uh, Bolton, which comes up into the active next. Uh, we can also take a flat-out knockout on anything that we like, really. Um, on their side of the field. We definitely want to remove the Victini, though. Let's exciting stage. We're looking for an EXP share uh, at some point here. We just want to get that EXP share onto our Alakazam. Um, haven't managed to find one yet, but we do have a couple of cards. Let's play the Air Balloon, uh, and then we can calm away the Alcremia. Let's just double check. Is it in the deck? I think it is. It is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw it off of this Alcremia, please. Well, I never. Well, I never. Special laser. I'm a god. I am a god. Just managing to draw that one off of the top. How easy is that? It's just what you do. You just do that to win. I don't know why more people don't just draw the exact card that they need to be successful. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because I just said, I'm just going to draw the XP share. And, and it happened. So... How 
How stupid is this game sometimes? Good gosh. That was so unlikely. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and we got to attack with Necrozma. Perfect. I finally got a use for these full art ones. I don't know if you've, uh, if you, if you're one of those people that might have seen my, uh, my card library occasionally. Like at the start of every set, I try and get four copies of every card so that I can make anything. And across the journey, I get the full arts because I like the full arts. They look nice. Um, and so I got four full art Necrozmas and they've just never been useful. They've literally never been useful. So I, I thought I was going to have to wait until Chilling Rain to use them, but I get to put one in this Alexander. Deck. That is mwah, perfect. There is a Victini V. We do not like that at all. And the boss's orders in hand is perfect. We'll be able to gust that Victini out and take a knockout, which I am a big, big fan of. Here comes Dance of the Ancients. I'm going to put a couple of lightning energy, at least one, into play. I don't know if there's actually another one in the discard pile. We'll just wait and see, because we can't control it. Uh, looks like they are going to attach to just the Boltons, which is uh, a bit of a a bit of a weak play. But it's still acceptable. But I mean, we've got the perfect follow-up. We can just gust out the Victini. We'll attach to our Alakazam. And then we can even draw some more cards with Krikatoon, to be honest. Looks like our opponent is looking for a little bit extra as well. They're going to Quick Ball. Try and draw some cards if they can. Doesn't look like they've got anything to search out. Or anything they want to search out. And then they're going to Electrify. So they probably have a supporter in hand. Uh, an energy onto the Victini, and one onto the Raichu. Perfectly reasonable. Look at this, we've got another horror energy. We can put that onto the uh, Alakazam. We'll gust out the Victini, and uh, and yeah. Would a special laser take that knockout? And now I don't think that there's anything on our opponent's side of the field that can easily knock us out. Um, we've got a couple of uh, a couple of prizes here, and we'll be, we'll be ready to go as long as our opponent doesn't uh, like paralyze us or something like that, we should be good to go. There is that professor's research that they definitely had. And at present, I'm feeling relatively comfortable. They could attach an energy and energy switch and paralyze with Raichu, but uh, doesn't look like that's happening. We managed to get a second win with Alakazam. So there is Alakazam knocked off of the OG150 challenge. There's only 28 family groups of Pokemon left to go. Some of them are going to be easy enough. Others are going to be quite difficult. If anyone can think of a way to play with a Cloyster deck, then let me know because I am out of ideas with that one. That seems preposterous. Uh, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's looking pretty rough. Thank you as well to all of my members. I'm just going to quickly move myself. I'm down here now. Thank you very much, everyone, uh, who is a member. If you would like to join and become a Sableye member, then click the join button down below. There's a link in the description as well. For as little as three Australian dollars a month, Australian dollars are worth nothing. So three bucks is like a penny. I don't know how it works out into American, but it's barely anything. And it all goes to supporting the channel to make sure that I can produce some more top quality content. In fact, you'll see the outcome of that in one of my very, very soon to be uploaded videos, uh, where There'll be there'll be a thing that I'll talk about and it'll be great. But thank you very much to Dadbod, Azazel, Fernando, Yolo, Stephen, Ty, Agent Abel, Austin, Josiah, Leaf, Devourer, Robzy, Caster, PD, Brad, Shings, Brad, Justin, and our new Royal Sableye Croc Otaku Gaming, as well as all of the Mega Sableyes that are in white on the screen. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will catch you next time for more from the Sableyes. Bye.